Pumpkin Man, are you off your meds again? Hey guys, and welcome back to Return to Popolo Croix. Uh, we have talked to this guy because we did a quest for him. So let's see. He gave us some oranges? Alright. Thanks. I'm not sure what the oranges do. But, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna go talk to the mayor and be like, hey, we did this thing. So, yeah. Hey, we did this thing. So, yeah. Ah, you're back. I heard about what you did for Sasha. She's very grateful to you for purifying her garden, as am I. Thank you. That sounds like a euphemism if I've ever heard one. The question is, have your actions been reflected in the mountain flambeau? I would say so. It's pretty glowy. Dear me, I've never seen it glowing so brightly before. You've more than proven your worthiness to enter the mountain ruin. As promised, the right is yours. Just stand in front of the door, hold the flambeau above your head, and that's it. The door should open right up. You'll need to be very careful inside, though. No humans have been in there for a very long time. There's no telling what you might encounter. Why has there not been anyone in there? <laughs> Seems a little strange, but okay. So I guess that's that building that we couldn't go in before. So, oops, ran into that. I guess we'll just, I went the wrong way. Are you surprised? You shouldn't be. Okay. This seriously is like really creepy music. Like, what is going to happen to me up here? Alright, let's do this. Mr. Hero, this is the place. Let's see if we can get in with that flambeau. Okay. Pietro held the mountain flambeau aloft in front of the sealed door. Well, congratulations. Oh, it really opened! Clever. Nothing gets past you, pumpkin man. This place is huge. You'd never know we were on the top of a mountain. Like Mayron said, this maze is meant to be a testing ground. So it won't be easy making it to the end. Everybody be real careful in here. Great, a maze. That sounds like fun. Okay. <laughs> what in the crap? That looks perilous. I don't really want to go down there, I don't think. Also, there are cracks in the floor. Which is not very... Not a good sign. Alright, these things... Um, Nino, I think everybody's pretty close to leveling up. I really don't want to use my magic yet because I feel like there's going to be something in here that probably needs me to use magic. So I kind of want to conserve that, just in case. Let's see. Alright, well, getting close to level 16. Pumpkin Man's Hyper Missile leveled up, well that's good. Yeah, everyone's at 15 right now, but they're, they're getting close to 16. So, probably level up 16 before we're done with this place. I don't know how long this is going to take. 
I guess this is kind of like... I don't know if you would consider this like the first dungeon? I mean, it's called a dungeon. But so were those little... Uh, those little farm areas that we had to purge. They were also called dungeons, so... I don't know if this is gonna be like... Something that has a boss. Oh, snap. Good job, Blue. Aquamarine soul. That's kind of weird. Alright. Go us. Hmm. Wasn't the whole point of this to, like, get the farm undarknified or something? Is that what we're doing? I don't even know, like, what the point- yay, gold. I don't even know what the point of doing this is, this mountain ruin thing. Like, I'm not sure what's gonna happen, like, when we beat it, but... I guess we'll find out. Oh my gosh, Pumpkin Man, your move range is really bad. Pietro's isn't that good either, to be honest. I don't know if that just levels up over time or if there are items that will increase that. Okay, rude. Get out of here. I don't want your mucus. I don't want it. Is Pietro poisoned? Is that what that means? I don't think it carries outside of battle, so I don't think it'll matter, even if he was. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter which way we went there. But I like to fill in the map. Alright, I'm assuming we're going to go up a floor? Yep. Just kind of seemed like a different kind of warpy pad thing. I don't know if I want to go this way. Maybe I want to go this way. Oh man. Too many directions. I don't want to commit. <laughs> I want to see what's... I don't want to miss anything. Wow. <laughs> Did I just go the right way automatically? Pumpkinhead, something wrong? Where am I? Where do you think? You're in the mountain ruin, crazy old geezer. Who are you? Boy, you're really out of it. I'm Nino. Okay, and why am I here? Why are you- you're here because Pietro ain't capable of handling this quest on his own, so you tagged along to help him out. And ever since then, it's been one disaster after another. That enough of an answer for you? Disaster? I think we've been doing pretty well. Actually. Ugh, why am I humoring you? I'm gonna catch you crazy. So, who am I? You're a weird old man wearing a pumpkin on his head. What the heck is wrong with you? I mean, besides the obvious. My head really hurts. Damn it! Who did this to me? I always love when characters in these games swear all of a sudden. Because, like, you're just not expecting it. It's like just going along all kitty and then someone's like, Damn it! <laughs> like, it's such a big thing. I want- I want there to be a game like that, except instead of that, they just, like, scream fuck. Mr. Pumpkin? Huh? D did I say something? I suddenly got real dizzy there, but I'm feeling a lot better now. Are you sure? We can take a break here if you want. Nah, I'm fine. I just want to get to the farm of light as soon as possible so I can do my part to help the people of Urbane. Pumpkin Man, are you off your meds again? Oh, Mr. Pumpkin, how noble of you. I'm touched. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> that was interesting. Pumpkin Man, y'all need to calm down. You need to calm down, son. I don't want to go on the warpy pad. I want to see what else is in here. I really wish they would run faster. <laughs> this is like the bane of my existence. They're so slow. Okay, so all the way over here to the far right, there's a chest with a fire bracelet in it. But that's pretty much it. Hmm. I don't even know if the fire bracelet is worth it. Yeah, it's not. I mean, I can sell it, but it's not really worth it to use it. At least I don't think. So we'll have to go back to where we were and use the warpy thing. Alright, so everybody is now leveled up to level 16. So that's good. We'll just head back all the way over to the warpy pad. And then go from there. Alright. So here we go. Let's see where it takes us. Over here. That's exciting. It is nice that every time they level up they heal. It's very useful. Saves me from having to do it. Oh. It's a dead end up here. All right, found another treasure chest. Magical leaf. Magic leaf. I don't even remember what that does. Restore some MP to one character. Okay. Well, maybe we'll have to use that at some point. I guess we'll try this way first. Oh, treasure chest. Stamina shower. Another one. How many of those do I have? Oh, that's different. Restores a considerable amount of HP to the entire party. Okay. Interesting. So a shower just means it goes to the whole party. Droplet means it goes to one person. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, okay, good. And we have a little healy spot. Didn't really need it too much, but still good to have it. Oh, something's gonna happen, I think. I think that's why we had a healy spot, you know what I'm saying? What is that? This should be the guardian at the entrance to the farm of light. Ah! 
This isn't good. Look there. That's Gryphit's emblem. It must be under Gryphit's complete control. His emblem? Ha ha ha! What's up, old man? Not a bad little clockwork doll. My compliments to Galera Land's craftsman. But it's not even the same ballpark as my robots. He is Dr. Robotnik. This thing is nothing but a cheap toy by comparison. Uh, you feeling okay? Oh, I'm okay. You brats can help me smash this tin can if you want, but you'd better keep out of my way if you know what's good for ya. Ah, ha, ha, ha. The heck? What is happening? Do we have to fight? What? I thought he was, like, becoming evil or something for a minute there. Oh, wait. I can do magic now. All right. Let's give everyone some speed. Not that kind of speed. All right. Hyper missile. Cause it leveled up, so it should do more damage. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Now right, we'll do this. I love how it like looks like it misses, but it's still <laughs> but it still actually hits him. Yeah, hey, yeah, why not? We'll do the firebird. That <laughs> Pietro just shot a bird up Nino's butt. You guys did witness that, correct? Like that's not just me. Because that's quite funny. Oh no, you di- oh, You piece of crap. That is like- Oh, that annoys me so much when bosses heal themselves. It just really makes me angry. <laughs> there we go. Take this! Man, I was hoping that would do more. I'll just keep hyper-missling him. If you know what I mean. That is a good move. Can you not a- Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, can I, like, not have her bite him, or what? Punch him! How about wind slash? Is that gonna do more? Maybe? Yeah, there we go. That was a good one. Good job, Pietro. And holy crap, that XP, though! That XP, though! Pietro and Blue leveled up, and Pumpkin Man and Nino are pretty close. We did it! You did nothing. You can sit down. Shut up. Yo, Pumpkin Head, you hanging in there? Weird enough, you were laughing like a maniac, but now you're looking kind of unsteady on your feet, too. Huh? D did I zone out again? The farm of light is just a hop, skip, and a jump away now, so try to hold it together just a little longer, okay? No problem, I'll be fine. Hmm. Okay. The Chamber of Ordeals. Chosen One. Thou shalt step into the light and emerge at a crucial juncture within this land thou lovest. Go now with heart strong and will ironclad. Okay. I just want to explore. I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything in here. Like a secret special treasure chest. Probably not, but it's always good to explore. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything going on, so we'll just go into the mystical portal and probably end up right in front of the farm. Well, here we are, Urbane Sylvan Farm, the first farm of light. Okay, looks kind of dark. This is it. Looks like just a regular field in the middle of a forest. Ain't nothing special. <laughs> but it is special. Sounds like SOMEBODY wasn't listening when Mayor Mayron told us all about this place. Of course I was listening. It can grow really good crops, I get it. 
But now that we're here, what do we do? How do we purify the dark energy? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Got any ideas, oh mystic fairy? Well, that's easy. We just have to rescue my superior, whose power has been sealed here. Come on! Alas, poor Lady Aerolith, frozen in time and helpless. How pitiful, how sad, I can hardly bear to look at her. So, Mr. Hero, you need to shine the light of the Mountain Flambeau on her. That'll snap her out of it in no time. Alright. Check out my mystical beacon. I am grateful to you for your rescue, friend. That light which bears the blessings of this land gives me strength as well. For this is the Sylvan Farm, one of the farms of light that serves to protect Lady Galariel and a pivotal spot for all of Orbane. Revived now, thanks to you, and with it bounty shall come once more to this region. Bah! Well, look at that. You did it! You really did it! You brought back one of Lady Galario's four farms of light! You have my boundless gratitude, courageous hero. I am the fairy Aerolith, keeper of this farmland. Lady Aerolith is one of the four great lords of the Galari Sprites. They're the leaders of all our people. And she's super amazing! She knows everything! In fact, she's so famous for knowing everything that people call her Aerolith the Great Mind. No, no one has ever called me that. And this Four Great Lords moniker is new to me as well. You are creative as ever, Connie. It's an honor to receive such praise from you, milady. <sighs> now then, courageous hero. With this farmland revived, the urbane region as a whole should see a marked improvement. However, that is but a drop in the bucket as long as Lady Galariel remains indisposed. Gryphet's dark roots run deep, snaking their way through the earth and affecting every last corner of Galariland. That's right, the road ahead is a long one for sure, but we have Mr. Hero to help guide us through. So we do. And as such, courageous hero, I do hereby decree that this farm is yours to tend as you see fit. Use it well. Ah, courageous hero, take heed. A large black beast is fast approaching our position. Hey, wait up! Come on, Pietro, we gotta go too. Pumpkin Man's like, what? Hey, me too! <laughs> uh, okay. Well, so this is our new farm. Isn't it beautiful? I think we can grow different crops here. But, I actually think that's all the time that we have for this episode. In the next one, we'll be taking on that black beast. And probably trying to look for the next farm, I would assume. We'll have to see. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.